Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's challenge location. This one is a pretty tough one, but there uh, is a clue that I hope some of you might have noticed. At least it's the biggest clue to me because it narrows it down to what I believe to be three countries. This yellow license plate right over here. Now I may be completely off base. I don't know, timer seems to be an English word, but the problem about that is it doesn't, this parking sign doesn't really make sense to me. I don't really know um, what this is. In fact, I haven't really considered what side of the road people are parked on. And looking over here, sure, there is a car parked on this side of the road, but it seems like the cars are at least meant to be parked over here on the right side of the road, so they'd be presumably driving down this way and parked here. This guy parked on the wrong side of the road, I'm assuming. That's another thing that's kind of tough to tell. Do I see any street signs? It does look like the street signs are... Fuck, it's hard to... There's one on the right side over here, one over here. Again, see, that's, that's pretty darn tough. And then over here, it looks like this one's on the right side, and this one may be on the right side as well. So I'm going to see people drive here on the right side of the road. Now, this means to me that we are in the country that I think we are, are in, and we are in, and this is the Netherlands, because I believe the countries that we could possibly be in, uh, based on the yellow license plate, are the Netherlands, France, and England. So I'm going to guess we are in the Netherlands. Now, where in the Netherlands are we? Um... You know what? I'm just going to say near Amsterdam, uh, in between Amsterdam, Rotterdam, but we're just going to go, like, outside, maybe, like, Amstlevine. Amstlevine sounds nice. There's, in fact, there's a nice little park over here. Uh, we're not really going to be near this park. I mean, there's a lot of water around everywhere here. Uh, but why don't we at least call it... Oh, my God. I don't... I, I don't I never like looking at specific places. Sure, we're going to say he, over here in Zuidost. Make the guess. And... Oh, no! Oh, someone's going to be mad at me for this. Someone is going to be mad at me for this. But no, we are in Denmark, actually. Surprisingly enough. Then no, maybe... I mean, maybe the uh, yellow license plate thing was a red herring. Maybe that was... Maybe, it's, maybe it was a car from somewhere else. Didn't know that Denmark... Uh, did the yellow license plate thing. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Um, but uh, maybe that was just there and tricked me. But no, we were in Denmark. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Couldn't see any... Um, I couldn't see this O, which would have been a telltale sign of Denmark. But there you go. Uh, I guess I got 2,488 points. Let's go zoom in to see where we were. We were in a place called Haderslev. Haderslev, we were uh, on this road and uh, near some big park, so I guess we were near Haderslev Dam Park uh, on a road called Kloster Vagnet. Oh, fuck me. Well, we were there. Um, <laughs> that was butchered if I've ever heard it. Anyways, uh, 2,488. See if you guys did better. Okie dokie, everyone. So here we are in today's viewer, not viewer. Well, this episode is a viewer challenge, but no, this is today's daily challenge, I guess. And we are at a water park. Ooh, that's fun. And honestly, this is going to be a very tough one. Uh, I, you guys would need some pretty crazy detective skills. Because I have no clue where we are. Um, contextually, there's a few things that might help. Um, right over here, it looks like we've got... This is perhaps some kind of logo for, for ice cream. It, it appears that it says something like summer food, super food, uh, something fond. I don't really know. Um, maybe it's in a different language, which would explain uh, some. We've got some people hanging out in this vehicle over here. Now, here's another one. Toa and Dush. Again, I don't know what that means, but I believe these are, these are um Hmm. No, that couldn't mean like that that no, I don't I have no idea what that means. Uh that we've got uh slides and stuff. This is clearly a place that kind of has some ties uh to actually no, maybe it's not. I I have no idea where where this place is i mean i have no idea what to look at it's coca-cola some words i don't really understand 
some big slides. I mean, look at this. Very cool. We got some people hanging out over down there. Can we see anything? No, we can't see any words there. Looks like we've got a logo for... I don't know what what that is. That kind of looks like the Stella logo, but I really doubt it is. Um, it kind of looks a bit different. We've got something over here, and it appears to me like maybe there are some colors like light blue and yellow, which... But but here's the real kicker. We're not... Actually, these things aren't real. Yeah, these aren't real palm trees. Okay, well, maybe that's going to be a weird guess then. I honestly have no idea. Okay, well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. And as always, I will see you guys. Um, no, okay, well, that's, I'm going to see you guys in a few moments for uh, today's viewer challenge. Alrighty then, we are in today's viewer challenge, and uh, just one thing I have to say, I kind of forgot about it a few uh, seconds ago, uh, was the fact that uh, in that last daily challenge, if you guys are unfamiliar with uh, what that was, essentially it's a challenge when I panned around, you guys could look and then write down in the comments where you think that daily challenge was. So uh, in tomorrow's episode, you guys are going to see in the comments me announce whoever the winner was, whoever guessed closest to uh, that location location in today's video comments. But now on to the meat and potatoes of this, uh, a viewer challenge brought to us by Xerod, um, made, I, I guess, in Geosetter, a website uh, you can visit and create custom challenges. I really do love these, and I guess more of them is always welcome. That I guess I know more of them is always welcome. This, I believe, ha does have a theme. It's Islands. This is an island themes uh, themed challenge brought to us by Z oh sorry uh, Zerdoz Zerdoz. Sorry, I, I said Zerods. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's uh, Xerox in my mind is uh, clouding it. It clearly says Zerdoz Xerdoz Xerdoz. Doesn't matter Xerdoz. Whatever. It's an awesome name. I like X's. Um, anyway, so we are going to be doing that. You can find this link down in the uh, description below. You have to probably highlight it because I don't know if it'll... Oh, it does contain HTTP, so maybe it'll actually be recognized as a link. I usually just copy-paste them, but there you go. If it's recognized as a link, you may be able to click on it and go do the challenge. Watch me do it. Awesome. It's a whole lot of fun. Let's get this show on the road. Maximize it, and here we are. All right. So, island-themed... Um, and we are in a place, I already know where it, oh, no, I do not know where, the, oh, okay, I did, I was gonna say, from, from a distance over here, uh, from, from this distance, I was like, oh, I recognize what that says, this is a Caluit, right, and, uh, then I, then we went to this location over here, and I was like, uh, what, what the heck it, does that say, I thought this was a K, but then we zoomed in even more, and yeah, we're in a Caluit, which, is pretty cool. A Caluit is oh god, I should know this is the it's the it's uh it's it's on it's on Baffin Island, uh isn't it? Come on, I sh it it shouldn't be so small. It's it's like I swear to God, a Caluit's like around here. Maybe I'm I know where this is. It's like the it's it's the capital of Nunavut. Come on, I should know where Caluit is. Oh, seriously, that's a problem that I that I'm that I'm not seeing it. Why, why are you so small, Caluit? Come on, don't be a ding dong. You're on this island. I know you are. Don't don't tell me you're not, right? You you're you're on this island somewhere, aren't you? Isn't this? Oh, there it is. Huh. Thank God. All right, I was looking over here for whatever reason. It's in here, which makes a lot more sense. Oh, thank goodness I found it. I knew it was around here somewhere. Great, so we are in Iqaluit, which is really, really cool. As someone who, you know, was educated in Canada, you, you do know what the capital of Nunavut is. Uh, so there you go. And I was still in, I guess, I mean, in 1999, on April 1st, when Nunavut became an official territory, um, I was, okay, no, we're near, we're near the school, uh, so we would be, maybe there's a guy, is there a sign for that? No, there's no, is there, doesn't look like, uh, there's something over there. Uh, something, uh, no, that's the, we want to go to the middle school, there's a legislative assembly, uh, 
high school. Where do we have a middle school? Uh, teachers Association. Oh, uh, it looks like we've got that. Something. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not really getting uh, exactly where this is, but uh, maybe we're gonna find more stuff We seem to be on uh, what's got to be like a very main road So I would say that um, this road is probably this one over here uh, So honestly, you know what we, we've got to be we've got to be somewhere very main So yeah on April 1st 1999 when I believed in if it became an official territory of Canada before it was just the, the both uh, Northwest Territories and none of it were uh, both together uh, into one. Um, I believe I was still in elementary school. Yeah, definitely I was still in elementary school. Now that I think about it, so yes, I would have uh, learned all of this. We got a quick stop. We got a Tim Hortons. That's pretty good. Um, vegetables probably very expensive up here. Uh, very cool. Uh, very cool how, uh, you know, we got stop signs that also say, uh, stop in, in Nook to Took. Ah, God, I believe that's what it's called. Also, we've got some really, really cool, uh, license plates here, which are legit and awesome. So, we got that that's going on. Um, and other than that, I mean, I'm not really, uh, you know what, I'm never, I'm not gonna get it exactly. Let's just say we're, like, on... Uh, Mivik Street, or sorry, uh, Mivik Street. Let's make the guess. We were, oh, we were a little bit further than that, actually. Um, oh, that was the name of that school. That's not what that said. Well, you know, that's why I didn't guess it. I saw that, but it, that's not what the name had said. Too bad I was two kilometers off, so that's a, about two hundred point penalty. But very cool. Okay, so now what island are we on? Well, this island, wherever it is, is a beautiful one. Um, we're driving on the right side of the road. That's good to know. I would like to go over there. Now, what have we got? We've got, um, we've got a Porto Judo, Sarah, okay, um, so, San Sebastian, San Sebastiao, I don't really know what that is, uh, Santa Cruz, no, we're not there, uh, are we on, on this? Uh, I don't really think we are. I would say we are probably on uh, the either either we're on either we're, we are on the Azores over here, or we are São Miguel, Porto Judo, Ponta Delgada. No, uh, anywhere over here, mm, Santa Barbara. No, not that I can really tell, uh, and. Not that I can tell anywhere over here. How about this last one? Flores. No. Santa Cruz. Oh, I can't really see it. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe we're on Funchal. Are we on Funchal? Um, no. Not that I can tell. Interesting. Well, that is, uh, that is, that is an interesting one. Then where are we? We've got to be on an island kind of similar to that. Um, but if we're not on that, where do we got? Uh, Praia de Vitoria San Porto Judo. Hmm. Porto Judo. Not really familiar with that. Are we perhaps in, uh, something like over here? Uh, no, we're not like Ibiza. What about over this one? No, not that I can tell interesting interesting wow i am i'm very lost and, and this uh porto uh n nothing really to go on here is there anything well, this this vehicle um is i don't i forget what are these things called these things called like uh no that's not a reliant robin is it i don't i don't know what what, the, what those things are is that like a I have no idea to be honest. Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty lost. I guess I'm gonna go with my original guess and just say, just say we're on. Uh, no, I don't want to guess we're there. I'm gonna say we're on. Uh, we're, we're on beautiful Funchal. I, I, although I really don't think we are. Uh, I honestly, I, I just don't. I don't really know. I can't really tell where we are. We're on an island. I know that much. So I guess I'm gonna have to do this one. I don't spend too much more time. And, uh, no, we were actually right over here, uh, 
uh, we we looked over here and I oh there's Porto Judo and there's San oh found it oh I guess I must have missed it when I looked here ooh that's aggravating because it was clearly there oh that is too bad okay next island Triple J's souvenir shop oh my God well would I ever like to go to Triple J's souvenir shop uh yeah okay I'm gonna keep going there off limits sure. Let's keep on going up. Come on, let's do it. I love going upwards. Up, up, up. It only goes up from here. Well, we're on an island, and that's all we know. And that's all we're probably gonna know, to be honest. Um, because wherever this is, like, off limits. We got little, we got little driving carts around here. God, this is very strange. Cool, but again, I do not have any ideas whoa okay let's go over here uh loca store okay uh jasper mm, i don't really okay no that's jasper something jasper classic photography are we we're, we're somewhere that i guess speaks english i heart manila really oh we haven't been here before Wow, this is cool. We've never never we've never been to the Philippines. Well, that is pretty dang cool if I uh do of uh August, okay, I don't really know what that even says, but um in in Tremuros, sure, whatever. But wow, that is really cool. Awesome. Oh man, look at this. Wow. This is awesome. All right, Manila, Philippines. Ooh, very cool, very cool. Would have been very confused by this location, honestly, had I not spotted that sign. That is going to be a great savior. All right, let's, uh, it looks like we're kind of getting stuck here. And do we have anything more to enjoy? Not really. All right, Philippines, let's go over there. Where is Manila? Here we are. Uh, I love Manila, sure. And we could be in like a billion places. Um, but we're going to say we are kind of downtown-ish right over around here. Let's make the guess. Yeah, we were even further down. Oh, here's Intramuros. I could have zoomed in a little bit more and probably found it. But 6,017. All right. Very cool. Oh, here's another island. And this island appears by... Uh, the looks of almost nothing to be in the UK, right? Maybe, maybe we are. Everyone, uh, people are uh, parked on the right hand side of the road, but I don't know about that. Maybe that's just something weird. What does this say? I don't know. 3.5 T. What does that even mean? I guess maybe we're not in the UK. Um, uh, Ostergad. Okay, great. Well, this is gonna be, this is gonna be screwed up, won't it? Uh, yeah, this is going to be a weird one. Okay, well, we've got uh, this sort of strange facility. We got some boats. We had the yellow license plate, which hopefully wasn't a red herring. Hopefully, uh, Sentium, uh, Aling. Oh, okay, is this... Are we in, are we in France? Uh, no okay we were not everyone's driving on the right that's one thing to remember uh that's this oh hold on look at this oh that's gonna be that's useful yeah that's a useful sign right there Do we get any more okay well this one i'm not gonna screw up okay so we are i guess um i guess we're in denmark but uh, we're on an island in denmark too so which which so I'm guessing this isn't considered an island. Uh, this may be, but probably not. Uh, Copenhagen, I guess, also considered an island. So we very well could be there. That would be interesting. It's a big port wherever this is. Uh, Willem Clausen. I don't really know what that means. Okay, well. You know, that's all we got. Apparently, yellow license plates are a thing from uh, Denmark as well, as I'm learning here. Very interesting. Didn't actually know that. 
Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to stay around here forever, I guess. I'm going to make a guess as to where we are. Which island are we going to say? Do we have a, a villa anywhere here? Does that is that a thing that even exists? Uh, I'm not really going to say. I'm going to say no. Uh, let's go for... Uh, let's go for let's go for let's go for Odson and make the guess and oh no we were on a much smaller island uh, right over here in a place called Rhone or um, yeah Rhone okay very cool even smaller island okay I didn't really think about that 2,673 and finally oh goodness gracious we are on a, an island famous for probably this but honestly. Where this island is, goodness gracious, I do not know. I'm very unfamiliar with whatever we are seeing right the right here. I mean, it is very cool, but where could this be? So this, I I feel like I know of this. I feel like it didn't. Isn't there something about this island in World War Two? I feel like I've heard something. About, well, I mean, we're going to find out if I actually make the guess and we're in the right location. But I feel like we are on, uh, like, 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 no, not those islands, uh, maybe? No, sorry, wrong islands. It's, no, not like, something, no, not those ones. Like these ones, maybe? Uh, I don't actually know. It's some islands, uh, maybe... Is it really these ones? I don't I don't really know. I'm trying to imagine this in my head where exactly we are. Sure, let's go for these islands um, and call it that we're there. Honestly, I have no real idea uh, what this is. But, you know, I, I kind of have a feeling that this is something that I'm sort of familiar with. Uh, but I, I have no idea, honestly. So we're just going to call it these islands over here. Is there a national park? Uh, because I'm assuming this will be probably sort of protected by something. Um, sure, let's call this one, although this does appear to be a volcano. Is this, does this look volcanic to us? Oh, this is a big mountain, so let's make the guess. No, not at all the mountains I was thinking of. Uh, wow, wait, what? This is, oh, wow, I guess this is, Mumbai is technically on an island. Wow, that was a, that was a wild guess. I never would have guessed that one as well. I, I mean, not as well. I would never have guessed that. That was awesome. Really, really cool. 17,572. You got that one really, really wrong. Uh, Ikaluit got it right enough. This one, uh, wrong islands. Sort of had the right idea. This one had the right idea, wrong place. And then Manila, Philippines is indeed Manila, Philippines. There you go, 17,572. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw oh, yeah, cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.